Billie Eilish rose to fame faster than you can say teen star, but the quick rise to fame was short-lived and quickly backfired. The praised, norm-bending singer-songwriter may not be as respected as she should be for her unique style and aesthetic. Billie has been touted as controversial in the pop world because she challenges all that is conventional and safe in the industry. Why the gal had to stand her ground to finally be accepted in the music industry. Now, the young, talented lady is getting the recognition she deserves, and let's be honest, it's well-earned. Billy has challenged all that pop is. She's ahead of the curve, and it's just taken the pop industry a while to catch up. Watch this video as we dive into Billy's unconventional pop star ways and why she wasn't respected in the music industry for so long. By now, most people know the story of how the young singer Billie Eilish rose to fame practically overnight. But surprisingly, the young star never actually got the recognition she deserved until recently. That's right, for years, Billie was underrated in the pop industry because she was so different from the rest of the typical pop stars. She challenged the style of pop. Even her songwriting took different routes than personal undertones or repetitive sexy choruses. Instead, Billie explored all sorts of characters and stories in her songs. Her most recently released single called When I Was Older was actually inspired by a Netflix film. Roma, a Netflix film directed by Alfonso Cuaron, won two Golden Globes and was nominated for 10 Academy Awards in 2019. Regardless of the film's popularity, Billy was inspired before all the crazy accolades were pouring in for the film. Billy posted on her Instagram a photo of the movie poster, explaining that the poster itself was the inspiration for her song When I Was Older. When I Was Older follows from her 2018 song When the Party's Over. The cool thing about this is that Billy seems to be at the forefront of bringing that old school 1990s thing back. You know, when it was cool to make music inspired by a film. Now, thanks to Roma's director Alfonso and Billy, the fat is back. Kendrick Lamar also produced Black Panther the album Music From and Inspired By, another example of an artist bringing this type of music back to the mainstream. So, how did this all go down? Alfonso Cuaron, the director of Roma, announced that they would be doing a companion album for the film, and of course Billy was one of them and was one of the first singles released. Other artists on the album are music legends like Patti Smith and Beck. Billy and her brother Phineas collaborated on writing the song. The album is not the original music from the film, however, but instead it is an album solely dedicated to music that was inspired by the film. By doing this, Billy proves that she is at the forefront of the music industry and is bringing old trends back again. In 2018, Billy, who loves to work with visuals in her music, came out with a music video for the Roma-inspired song's counterpart entitled When the Party's Over. In true Billy fashion, the video is incredibly creepy. No tarantula is crawling out of her mouth this time, but instead blue juice is oozing out of her eyes. So the girl's got a vibe, right? With a creepy aesthetic, baggy clothes, and a no BS personality, the girl is not your average pop star. Oh no, she's far from it. This controversial image is exactly why it was so hard for Billy to be respected as a true artist in the pop music industry. In 2019, however, that all began to change. Let's be honest, the girl's ahead of her time, and it's just taking conventional music industry standards some time to catch up with her out-of-the-box ways. When the Party's Over isn't the only song where Billy has drawn inspiration from another art medium. Billy told Harper's Bazaar that ever since she started writing music at the age of 11, she would take inspiration from things she loves, like, say, The Walking Dead. Fingers crossed, the first song she ever wrote was about the zombie apocalypse thanks to one of her favorite TV shows at the time. This method of writing songs is way outside the box of what pop stars normally do, or at least what they admit to being inspired by. Mostly, we hear people drawing from personal experiences for inspiration. Adele wrote an entire album, 21, about her harsh breakup and went on to win Album of the Year at the Grammys. Ariana Grande's massive hit song, Thank You Next, was a homage to all of her exes. And Taylor Swift is notorious for saying everything but an ex's name in her music. Basically, Billy is breaking the rules when it comes to finding inspiration for songwriting, and we love it. For example, Bellyache was about a made-up fictional character who is a psychopath. She told Noisy Magazine that Bellyache is about the concept of guilt when you do things in the moment because you feel so strongly about them. In the end, you're left with the decision you made. She explains that she and her brother Phineas like to make up fictitious people or become someone else when writing music because it helps them to write music that has never been done before. Well, Billy, you're definitely doing that. Perhaps it is her unconventional songwriting that has made her extremely popular with fans, but has also kept her from true industry respect these past few years. One thing is for sure, her songwriting techniques seem to be working when it comes to making hits. Ocean Eyes, the song that she wrote with her brother, was her first hit. That was the song that put her on the map. Later, 
Later came Lovely, a collaboration with Khaled that garnered her even more fame, and then a slew of other songs soon followed. Billy does admit that it was quite easy to get many of her first tracks down, as they were already written from before she was famous. Growing up, her brother and her would write music together, as well as post covers of their favorite songs online. Ocean Eyes was so different, it caught the attention of many, but her personal style still had not bled out into the wider pop verse. She was quickly becoming the cool teen musical star, but was she really respected as such? Her controversial dialogue with many publications only brought her more into the limelight, but not for her music. She was the Jennifer Lawrence of music, but a darker version. Yes, she was praised for her unique style and vibe, but the acknowledgement beyond her diehard fans hadn't hit home yet. Her outspoken nature was what caused her to be called intimidating and dark. But those are the exact things that make Billie so attractive, not only as an artist, but as a product in and of herself. In an interview with NME, Billie says that the world is ending, and I honestly don't understand the law that says you have to be older to vote, because they're going to die soon and we'll have to deal with it. But to see young people taking part in peaceful protest and not obeying is beautiful. To the same publication, Billie admitted her feelings about the industry, saying, This industry is effing horrible, but if I wasn't doing this, I would probably be miserable because this is always what I've wanted. At the end of 2018, NBC asked Billie to record a happy-go-lucky New Year's message that they could play as a part of their coverage. Of course, after several takes of not nailing the peppiness NBC asked for, she threw up the middle finger for the camera. Her mom told her they needed a beat so they could edit it. She replied by saying that that was her beat. Funny thing is, Billy pulls the rebellious attitude off so well that it's endearing. You can't help but laugh along with her and root for her as the underdog. Regardless of her endearing rebellious qualities, Billy's inability to garner widespread acceptance goes beyond her music and appearance. The young woman is known as someone who never smiles, and her personal fashion is quite different from the normal scantily clad, skin-bearing women we often see in pop culture. Instead, Billy is actually doing the opposite, wearing oversized clothes and bearing next to no skin. She was even referred to as looking like a kid hiding a teen pregnancy from her parents by Pop Dust. Speaking of Pop Dust, they did have some pretty interesting things to say about Billy, referring to her as a better product than an artist. Now, we all know this isn't true, and so do they, but what Pop Dust is discussing is that even though record labels often don't and can't afford to take risks on new artists, they did with Billy. Often artists are seen as products, something they can sell. Interscope Records signed Billy, and it was most likely in their contract when she signed that she maintains a certain amount, if not most, of the creative control over not only her music, but also her personal appearance and public image. Billy didn't all of a sudden change when she came into the limelight and signed with Interscope. Nope, she remained the true blue teenager we got on that 2015 Ocean Eyes track. With her dark music videos, provocative lyrics, and no cleavage in sight, Billy is bringing in a new wave of pop artists and most definitely influencing generations to come. Others argue that her creepy aesthetic and oversized clothes were all settled as a part of her image in a boardroom with the record label, but with 2019 starting off as it has for her, we're not exactly sure that's true. Since ringing in the new year, Billy has released a hit track with a music video on January 8, 2019. The track is When I'm Older, which we spoke about earlier, the song inspired by the film Roma. Only three short days after its release, the music video had nearly 5 million views. In 2018, her one-by-one tour sold out in a matter of minutes, and her EP had over a billion streams. Most notably, in 2019, she was on NME's 100 Essential New Artists for 2019, finally getting some recognition by the industry she works in. The face of pop is changing, but more importantly, it's finally respecting her and no longer casting her aside, calling her young and crazy. It took years for the industry to adjust to Billy, but better late than never, right? And it's not just the music industry that has finally caught on. All over Brooklyn, LA, and probably across the world, kids are dressing like Billy, listening to her music, and seeing her concerts. She is bringing a new truth to the pop scene. Apart from her influence on the general public, Billy has some pretty high up contacts in her phone book. She's now got the likes of Tyler the Creator, one of her favorite artists, and Miguel down as contacts now. But she has no interest in calling them up for a collab, as so many artists do, especially young budding musicians. Collaborations have become a great way for artists to get more of their music heard and to continue climbing the ranks to the top. We mean, if you make a song with Justin Bieber, you gotta be at the top of pop, right? Well, Billy once again doesn't see things that way. She wants to make her own music, which she does in the same studio that Ocean Eyes was made with her brother Phineas. Billy doesn't want to share her music or show it to people before it's ready, and right now she doesn't want to collaborate with any of her famous friends. Yet another reason why we love her. Some might see that as a risk or just plain weird to not use your connections, but Billy knows the music she wants
wants to create, and she doesn't need others' permissions or acceptance. In fact, she admits to like being judged, so it's no wonder she does things to provoke questions and judgments. She enjoys it, which makes her perfectly imperfect. The genre of music Billy is creating may not fit into any box, just like Billy herself. And like anything new, at first people are wary. What will she do? But over the three years that Billy has been in the spotlight, she has proven that she will make cool videos, epic songs, and not care what anyone thinks of her. We have to say the gal is inspiring. Perhaps the lack of respect she received from her own industry was because she was so young, or perhaps it's that she appeared as a threat to a cookie-cutter industry. But whatever the reason was, the bigwig people are finally catching up. Billy brings the question to light. What happens to pop when a young, rebellious, no BSer starts creating creepy, eerie ballad tracks that sweep the nation? Well, we're seeing it unfold right now. Billie Eilish is proving the pop industry is in need for a major update, and she's going to be the gal to do it. What do you think about the controversial pop star? Do you like how she's changing the face of pop? Let us know what you think about Billie Eilish in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to The Taco and give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of the songwriting genius. Thanks for watching!